Hello, friends. Welcome to this edition of Theater Thursdays uh, at Theater Arlington. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. There it is. Theater Arlington, Theater Thursdays. Uh, we are so glad that you guys have tuned in. As always, please like and share this post because uh, that'll help more people to see it. And go to our Facebook page and like and share that. That helps us out a lot. Um, and as always, I ask people to say hello and talk to us in the chat. Um, it's a great way for you to ask questions and for us to get to talk to you. Hello, well, Theater Arlington is here. My guess is, I don't know whether that's Kim or Cindy being Theater Arlington, but hi, Theater Arlington. <laughs> and hi to all of our friends out there. Uh, got some fun stuff to talk about today. Uh, first, what's going on right now is our spring break camp. Um, it's pajama day. I didn't wear my pajamas. Um, but all of the kids and the counselors and some of the staff are here in their pajamas having a great time. Um, and so uh, I, I'm not in pajamas, but if you notice, I don't know if on your video, but on my end, my jacket is like moving. All the checks are like doing things. I think you're not supposed to wear this kind of a small check for uh, broadcasting purposes, apparently. Uh, but they are having fun in camp, and I think we told you last time that they are doing the Granny Awards. Uh, the Granny Awards is a really cute little play, and I gave you all kinds of bad information about it last time. <laughs> um, but what it's really about, I think I told you it was about grannies vying, trying to get awards to be the best grandmother, but that is not true. What it's actually about is fairy tale characters who are trying to win awards given out by Granny. So it is really cute. It's really clever. The children have been adorable, and they're going to videotape that tomorrow in a socially distanced, uh, safe musical production. Uh, the, the video will be sent out to their families, and I know that they're having lots and lots of fun. Speaking of camps, there are lots of camps happening this summer, and those are already starting to fill up. So uh, if you are interested in sending your child to summer camp, uh, musical theater camp, acting camp, uh, please go to our website and uh, very quickly start signing up for those because we want to make sure that your children get in and we are going to be very limited on spaces uh, to try and keep everybody uh, safe and keep our numbers down a little bit this year. So uh, make sure that you sign up right away. Let's see. Hi, Sharon. Good to see you. Hi, Kim. I, I know. I, think, I thought that might be making you dizzy. Sorry about that. <laughs> My checks are... Uh, making Kim nauseated. Um, but a lot of my outfits make Kim nauseated, which is, well, neither here nor there. Sharon K. Miller, hello. I love you. I'm happy to see you. Um, another place I'd be happy to see all of you is at our next paint party. We had one this past weekend, and uh, folks had lots and lots of fun. We have another one coming up, a paint party with Angie on April the 10th. Uh, that is our next one. And the Painting is beautiful. Oh, look at that. Um, so a lovely young lady walking through some beautiful trees and shrubbery uh, with her umbrella because it's April and it always rains in April. And then April showers bring May flowers. Look at that. That's going to be our painting in May. I'm really excited about that one. I think it's really pretty. Um, that's one I'm going to take home for myself, I think. Um, but if you're interested in our next one on April the 10th, go to our website and sign up. Now, I will tell you that this one is a little bit uh, more complicated than some of the ones that Angie has done. And so it's going to take a little bit longer. I think we're going to allow three hours for that one. Uh, we start at six and you should be done by nine. Um, the good news is, even though that looks a little harder and like something I would never think that I could paint, uh, Angie is really so good at walking you through step by step and showing you how to paint that and make your beautiful creation. Uh, that's a really great piece of art to take home for only $30 and the fun experience of creating it yourself. So uh, be sure and go and check out more information about that and sign up for our paint party. Um, hi, Michael. Good to see you. Uh, let's see, what else do I need to tell you about? Well, 
I do want to tell you that uh, it. I, I don't normally do birthdays on here, but uh, today, like on my Facebook feed, um, I don't know, there was over a dozen people with birthdays, so this seems to be a very popular birthday day. And I wanted to say hi to a couple of folks that were important to Theater Arlington. Uh, first, Tony Parrott, who was just one of my dearest friends, uh, very sweet before he passed away, uh, but we're celebrating his birthday today anyway. He was in so many shows at Theater Arlington in our old space on Division Street and several here. Uh, he was in The Foreigner two of the times that we did it um, and played The Foreigner the second time and was just delightful in that. Probably my favorite show that he ever was in. Um, and uh, he also worked for the theater when we first moved into the space here as our bar manager um, and was just a tremendous asset to the theater and we love him and we certainly miss him and we wish him a happy heavenly birthday hope he's up there uh, hanging out with the angels having a great party it's also i had to mention today the birthday of joe allen brown da -da -da! happy birthday joe allen brown joe allen brown is the uh, longtime professor at texas wesley and he was in charge of that department the theater department there for years and years and years and he is currently the president of the Live Theater League. And so I thought I would take today his birthday to talk a little bit about Live Theater League. But the Live Theater League of Tarrant County uh, is a really great organization. And it started um, around 1990, the directors of Circle Theater, Jubilee Theater and Stage West started thinking, hey, we should figure out a way to join forces a little bit and uh, see if we can create more buzz and more excitement about live theater in this area in North Texas. And so they, they knew that trading ideas and combining some efforts would really help to contribute to uh, the success of local theaters. By the fall of 1994, uh, they had not only started meeting on a regular basis, they created bylaws, they created a nonprofit, a 501c3. Uh, they were having monthly meetings. Um, they created an annual high school playwriting competition uh, that is now produced by Circle Theater, which is a really great thing. Uh, they have an annual awards presentation. They have a Live Theater League website. Um, let's see, and I'm going to switch the websites here. That's our website. Uh, but here is theirs, www.livetheaterleague.org. Um, it is a really great website that has information about all of the Live Theater League members and a place that you can click to go see uh, about all the other theaters in the area. Uh, they also are a really great advocate uh, for Texans in the arts, and they make sure that they are really uh, keeping up with all of the things that are going on at the state and national level in order to be able to um, really make sure that funding is going through for the arts. So it's really great. Uh, the mission of Live Theater League of Tarrant County is to ensure the future of live theater as a cultural asset to the community through promotion, collaboration, and educational endeavors. And the goals are as follows to develop new and diverse audiences, to create a climate for the support of live theater by using collaborative voices to advocate on a local, state, and national level, to provide a support network for the theatrical communities, and to expand excuse me, appreciation of live theater. Um, I will tell you that uh, Cindy and I go to Live Theater League meetings once a month and they are great. It has really been a lifesaver during the pandemic to be able to go and talk to all of the other producers and to the uh, at-large members of this organization and kind of talk through ideas and thoughts of what's going on during the pandemic and how we can best uh, continue operating. It is really a great group of folks. And I love that there is uh, no competition uh, but lots of collaboration between all of the theaters in Tarrant County. It's really nice. Um, I also want to point out, and it was really a great thing, uh, that they uh, gave out over 103 uh, artists, members of the community, um, 
grants during COVID. And so they had a grant application. People sent those in. If you had been an actor, a director, a designer, a technician, a carpenter, a crew person, support staff, or worked at any of these live theaters and lost work because of COVID, you were able to apply for a grant. And as I said, they gave out over $10,000 worth of grants. Um, I think most of the grants were $250 that they gave to uh, all of these uh, theater professionals and theater artists that had worked at one or more of the uh, live theater league members theaters. So thank you to them for all of that. Thank you to anyone that donated to that cause. Um, the theater, the life, life theater league had raised a lot of money and the money came from that, but they also did a little bit of fundraising. And so uh, thank you for anyone that donated to that because it was really helpful to those artists and I know helped them feel appreciated. So um, that is all. I know I've got a couple of folks in here. If I've got any questions about things that are happening at Theater Arlington, if you ask them really quick, I'll answer. Otherwise, we're going to wrap up here pretty quickly. Um, I think that's all the information I have for you today. Um, remember that you can always go to theaterarlington.org. So that's switched again. Um, theaterarlington.org for more information about things that are happening at Theater Arlington. Um, you can go to the Live Theater League website and check out what's happening at other theaters as well. Um, as you know, we are probably not going to have a lot of programming through the end of the year because we are going to be renovating. Uh, we will have our summer camps and we will have our education programs, but in terms of theatrical performances for you to see, we're going to be very limited on that. So I encourage you to get out when it is safe and go to some of our other live theaters in Tarrant County and check out what's going on with those at their website. Uh, thanks again for being here. I always appreciate getting to say hello, uh, getting to talk to you guys for just a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to go check out what's happening at camp now, and I hope to see all of you at the theater soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.